Hey everyone, I'm just going to do a quick little video on torque sticks. I know there's a, a bunch of videos on there and some people hate torque sticks, some people love them, some people just... The vast majority of people that hate them, hate them because they don't know how to use them. This, the wheel specs on the, the torque specs on the car I'm going to show you is 80 foot pounds. That does not mean you grab an 80 foot pound torque stick and use it. What you want to do is grab the next lowest step down, which in this case is a 75 foot pound torque stick, or even a 70 foot, 70 pound foot, foot pound torque stick if you had it would be good. And in this case I've got a 21 millimeter nut, lug nut. So I, I don't like using these for, with, with torque, torque wrenches or torque things because they are so thin and they have a certain amount of flex to them. I, I think that would throw the accuracy off. So I'm just going to use a regular 21 millimeter impact deep, deep, deep socket and a regular torque wrench afterwards set to, in this case, 80 foot pounds. So we'll just set this to 80 here. And this is just a regular old click type torque wrench. There we are at 80. Okay, we'll set that down for now. And we'll move over to the car. And before we do that, I'll show you. These ones, this I have the, this cover cut off to fit in my drawer. But they all come, some of them come with the built-in, with the, the uh, sorry, the socket attached already. So they'll have the different sizes. Uh, and some of them are like this. They're just basically like extensions. So these are torque limiting exp extensions is what they're technically called. And these ones come in 70 foot pound, 80 foot pound, um, what is this, 90 foot pound, 100 foot pound, and 110 foot pound. I don't work on anything big, so that's, I mean, that's the biggest I need. Um, other than that, I'll just go ahead straight to the torque wrench. So I'll spin the camera around here and, and give you a quick little demonstration of what I mean by how you should use them and how people are using them wrong. Okay, we'll go down there. Quickly, never start your... <laughs> You're lugging that on with a, an impact, and you want to start it by hand. Because when it starts cross-threading, it's going to stay cross-threading. That's not a good thing. Hold on. Take off my glove. Get that started. And we'll just spin it on by hand a bunch of threads so you know it's on there and it's not going to cross-thread. Okay. I'll just step off camera here, pick up my impact to the air hose, put it on the, on the gun here, make sure we're going the right direction. And then, sorry I don't mean to be in the way here, get my ass in the way. We'll just give this a spin until it stops. Don't keep going. Once it stops, it stops. You're good. Just don't keep clicking on it. Nugget, dig, 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 dig. More is not better in this case. Then move over to your torque wrench. Put the socket on it. And go in there. Notice it there. It turned about maybe half an inch or a couple of degrees before it clicked. So it means it was pretty close to, to 80 foot pounds. So the torque wrench was, or the torque stick was between 70 and 80. So that's why you want to stay a little lower. If it was over, this is going to click right away. So you don't know that could be 80, could be 90, could be 100. This way we're good. And it's that simple. Never use just a torque stick. Never use a torque stick set to the exact torque of the wheel. You want something just slightly under, and then use a torque wrench. Always use a torque wrench when doing lug nuts. That's it. Thanks for watching. I know there's a lot of debate about people about what your air pressure settings and stuff. I run my air pressure at, uh, what am I at right now actually? We're about 100, 100 foot pounds of pressure. So the torque and the impact gun's running full out so, and it's, it's pretty darn accurate. Um, I've heard electric guns, cordless guns are slightly different because they don't have the same hammering action. But I have no experience, can't speak to that. I just know with air guns, it works. The torque sticks have been accurate. I've used them hundreds of times. And just 
Don't use them for the setting they're supposed to be on. Use them slightly lower and then finish up with the torque wrench. Boom! Done. Thanks for watching.